Welcome back everyone. In this video, we'll have a brief look uh, at, the basics, at the basics of ISA 101 standard and how you can use it when designing uh, HMI and SCADA displays. The agenda for this video is ISA 101 purpose and process, display hierarchy in uh, ISA 101, ISA 101 standard use of colors, alarms and icons, reducing uh, uh, the cognitive overload. The ISA 101 purpose and process. ISA was an industry standard created uh, to optimize the interaction between uh, operator and HMI SCADA uh, display or system in order to minimize errors and to support the operator in their daily work, but also to improve the operator's focus toward immediate uh, system activities such as abnormalities and alarms. The ISA 101 uh, process uh, life cycle uh, has four phases. Uh, system standards, design, implement and operate. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on uh, the display design in the design phase. When designing display, ISA specifies several types of uh, displays in four groups. Level one, uh, is a, the overview of facility or area where you highlight the most important information uh, from your uh, facility. Uh, level two is the process unit control where you display uh, major task control and operation. Level three is a more detailed task uh, display where you have control modules for investigation and further troubleshooting of uh, components and elements that you don't have on uh, level two. And finally, level four is a diagnostic and informational display such as faceplates, where, where you provide more details of your components such as pumps, valves, uh, from the level three uh, displays. Now that we have looked on how you can uh, structure the hierarchy of your displays, we will be looking at how colors, uh, icons and alarms uh, are used in ISA 101 standard. 8% uh, of people uh, of men are uh, colorblind and 0.5% of all women are color, uh, colorblind. Uh, the majority red green color. Uh, therefore, color cannot be the only communicator of important uh, data and uh, component states. It should be combined with graphical elements such as icons, shapes, text to indicate uh, the information uh, provided. Moreover, we need to think about the, the lighting in the operator environment and how it can affect, affect the use of color. So when we use color, we need to design for situational awareness, especially in alarm situations, use bright, intense uh, colors and shapes to direct the operator awareness, use uh, cool colors for live data, um, the display background should be uh, non-saturated uh, gray colors. The foreground uh, minimize the use of colors. Uh, for the interior uh, static components such as uh, tanks, use the same background color as the display. Uh, the process line should be gray or dark, uh, dark gray or black. And remember to provide enough contrast between foreground and background uh, uh, so the operator uh, can see the difference. Uh, this will help reduce the cognitive load. Cognitive load is the effort required uh, during uh, the process of learning or operating a system such, an, uh, such as HMI or SCADA display. And there, is, there are typically three factors that can cause it. Too many choices are presented for an operator, lack of clarity, uh, too much thought required to solve a task. So what can we do as designers to reduce this? We need to uh, avoid uh, the use of unnecessary elements such as icons and colors, uh, use common design uh, principles or patterns uh, to uh, create clarity, eliminate unnecessary tasks that don't give value, uh, minimize the choices uh, at any given time, Strive for readability, 
uh, when using typography, use uh, easy re readable uh, typography. And remember to use iconography and colors with caution. I hope you got a quick insight in uh, the basics of ISO 101 uh, and how you can benefit from it when uh, designing HMI and SCADA displays. Tune in next time where we uh, talk about common design principles and how it can uh, enhance the user interface and user experience uh, of your HMI and SCADA displays. Thank you.